so I thought today might have been a singular video, like Sunday's was, but no. I don't have any news, necessarily. I was just so exhausted, because I still had to get home after vlogging in. Just so frustrating yesterday. Because I got done with the ultrasound, and then I packed everything in the backpack. And then after that, I went straight home. Got on the 26th. Maybe I should test. I just and on top of that is I was doing my stuff this morning to get things done so I could do things later today with Ostport and the doctor and all that jazz. And then Aaron comes out with like, I don't have any lunch. And I'm like in the process of getting ready to go or start my day. And I'm like, you didn't fucking tell me any of this shit. This communication sucks and I'm stressed out by it. The idea is how do you work on your communication when you can't remember that you need to communicate things because you can't remember anything. Not to mention half the stuff he does works at the very last minute. Like it didn't probably dawn on him he didn't have a lunch until fucking 11 o'clock. And they told me at 11.30. Hey, can you solve this right now? Motherfucker. Like, yeah, sure, he can tout or something, but he could have told me yesterday. I could have picked up something. He told me last night. He told me earlier. But there's so much that happens with him at the last fucking minute. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I have to do my own shit. And then he's trying to tell me, well, this is how the system went before. I'm like, the system haven't been that way for two fucking years. <laughs> Something went wrong, and I don't know what happened. Now the whole system's clunking around, and I'm trying to just figure shit out. Not to mention, I got a little late start today. It's not bad, bad. Um, but I don't have time to dink around. It's 12.50 in order to get to therapy by two. It's funny because I wasn't sure if the thing in the calendar had changed the correct time it was 2 or 2 30 so I literally had to go back into my timeline and figure out what time I was at therapy two weeks ago according to my Google timeline and I got there on the bike at 1 30 there's no reason I would have been there half an hour early or an hour early perhaps the uh, depression is super strong when I pick up the pink smoothie. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yogurt, strawberry, banana, pear, something else, raspberry. Yeah, it's a raspberry seed. <sighs> now I gotta get onto the 19 or the 14 to get out to Centrum area. So part of the frustration is the fact that my shoulder is, it, it, I'm, it's in pain. Not a lot of pain, not like an aching amount of overall pain, but it's just like, it pops, it tweaks, it quirks, it's weird. And I just, I just want answers. I just want to know if I can on Sunday and I don't know if I'm going to be able to, and I don't know what to do if I can't go. You know, if I'm not going to be playing, then why waste the time getting out there when we need to film it? And I've got a lot on my fucking plate, and I don't know what, and, and I need one thing, and I put a lot of eggs in a lot, in less than one basket, it feels like. <laughs> and I can't make any decisions, and the people that need to make 
they just bounce it right back at me. And I'm like, I'm so tired of you guys bouncing decisions back at me when I'm already stressed out and can't figure out what decision to make. Well, this looks like a very suspicious thing. I didn't have to swing by Albert Hine when I was at Ghostport. <laughs> I got out of therapy. There was someone in the hallway because she's only in the office now once a week. So everybody needs to come in and talk is on one day. Benefit. Most people are doing online stuff. I just, <laughs> I do enough stuff here. I don't want to have to deal with another person over the screen. Um, I already have to talk to Aaron's parents that way. I mean, to, anyways. <sighs> so, yeah. It feels like I'm just starting my day, but I'm not. It's like after three. I'm going to be streaming here in a little bit, even though nobody watches that. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll be finishing up Ragnarok, but close enough. I did some stuff yesterday, but I talked about with therapists about how it, about stuff that happened in Isahem, because, <laughs> um, that was a very interesting time. How am I dealing with the shoulder thing? I don't know. Do I have irrational paranoia? Yes. <laughs> Did I tell Martine about my rational paranoia? Yes. Did he say anything back about it? No, because he realizes it's rational paranoia. There's no valid reason for that thing to exist, but it, my brain still says, but maybe, maybe. Anyways, Aaron ended up having snack bar delivered. I was telling my therapist, I just want him to test negative. Dear open. Me, me. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it for today. There's a lot of tourists going around and stuff. Um, kind of vented everything at therapist. I signed up to go to practice on Thursday. Whether I function to practice or not, I don't know. I do need to get a hold of the doctor, maybe, and figure out if I can, if I'm cleared for the game. Cheyenne said to do that.